Hey everyone, welcome to Yochi Resource, I'm Marissa, and today we're going to learn a Qigong exercise called the Swimming Dragon. Now, all over the world, the dragon has been an ancient symbol of the transformation of consciousness. They say that the dragon sleeps at the base of the spine, and as it awakens, it rises up the spine through the crown of the head. So, dragon forms are characterized by twists, coils, and spirals to get the spinal fluid moving and the energy to move up the spine. And that's why this is one of my favorite styles of Qigong, because it's also great for longevity and anti-aging. So in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the swimming dragon for you, then I'm gonna break it down, and then we're going to do it together. So find a comfortable place, join me, and let's learn the swimming dragon. The Swimming Dragon Flow is an ancient Qigong exercise from the Taoist tradition. As you can see, it is practiced by repeating a short cycle of movements that are easy to learn and fun to perform. The spiraling movements encourage life force energy called qi or prana to flow through the spinal column. On the physical level, these movements help to promote weight loss, improve digestion, increase flexibility, balance the endocrine system, stimulate the brain, and bring deep relaxation to the nervous system. On the energetic level, the underlying benefit of the swimming dragon is the production and circulation of qi, which leads to a longer life, increased vitality, self-healing, and raises the frequency in the body. The key to understand the swimming dragon is to understand the relationship between the pelvis and the shoulders. So the spine is between the pelvis and the shoulders, and the spine is made of discs that rotate. So if you step your feet together, bring your hands to your chest, push your hands out to the right, and then push your hips out to the left. Now bend the knees, rotate that left hip forward, rotate that right shoulder forward and feel that deep twist in the spine. Relax your neck, tuck your chin in. Good, now switch to the other side. Press the hands out to the left, hip shifts to the right, rotate that left shoulder forwards, rotate your right hip forwards. Feel that deep spinal rotation. Good, come back to the center. So what's happening is our shoulders are over here, our pelvis is over here, and then we're rotating them forwards. You see, this creates a deep twist in the spine. And this is probably the deepest spinal twist that you can get through a movement. And that's why Swimming Dragon is called the Qigong of longevity. So let's start the Swimming Dragon with the wide leg stance, we call waking up the dragon, just to warm up the body and warm up the spine. So feet are wider than the shoulders. Bring your hands to the chest. And then press your hands out to the right. Look to the left. Press your hands out to the left and look to the right. Now shift your weight over to the left. Shift your weight to the right. Look to the left. Keep shifting back and forth, sinking and pressing. So this is a great way to wake up the brain, to balance the body, and just starts to open up the hips and the waist. Breathe through it. Relax and flow, back and forth. Good, now come back to the center, and we'll swim our dragon in this wide leg stance. So just begin to swim with your arms, but move from the hips and the waist. Move from the spine. Swimming back and forth. Then we can dive the dragon down. Dive it down into the ocean. This is the sleeping dragon, our unconscious mind. 
and then the dragon starts to emerge to move up the spine feel the mid back opening the upper back take it all the way through the crown of the head and up over the head reach up exhale bring your hands to your heart take a nice deep breath here you can bow your head to your hands bow to your inner dragon and let's do that one more time so just spiral the hands shifting the weight back and forth feel the spine awakening warming up feel this nice detoxification in the organs massaging the liver and the spleen the kidneys even the heart you can sink your dragon and dive it down into the water and then start to come up this is the kundalini rising all the way up out the crown hands come over the head inhale exhale hands to the chest so that one uses a lot of internal power and generates internal power now the formal swimming dragon has the feet together and this creates an even deeper twist in the spine and it's a very beautiful dance so I'll guide you through this one we're gonna start moving to your right so shift the hands out to the right press the hips out to the left rotate the shoulder and hip forward and look bend the knees as you press the other way and press back and forth notice this deep rotation in your lower back the lumbar spine the thoracic spine in the mid back and the cervical spine at the neck when you turn the head good come back to the center and we'll swim so this time hands come right under the ear just like your sleeping dragon so hands come in the ear shift the weight hips go out and then big circle around like you're chopping and then rotate shift the weight to the other side hands come to the left ear press out to the right now come through the solar plexus press out to the left sweep down through the lower abdomen press out to the right sweep through the solar plexus come back up to the shoulder and then big circle up in the air come up onto your tippy toes reach and hands come down the center line of the body into the diamond mudra over the lower dantian then sweep the palms together come up to the chest and we'll start again so dragon sleeps hand under the ear hips go to the left circle around press over now swim through the solar plexus keep bending the knees flowing through it come over to the shoulder and up reach lifting bubbling spring on the bottom of the feet and then bring the hand down into diamond mudra center your energy so there's a lot of water element going on here we have the bubbling spring on the bottom of the feet being activated when we lift up and then we have the diamond mudra which is an upside down triangle and also represents the water element so these are water dragon movements let's do that one more time we'll flow through it take a nice deep breath bend the knees press the hips out to the left circle around 
look in the opposite direction, come through the center, lower abdomen, solar plexus, come around, and up above the head, reach, hands come down. Take a nice deep breath. Notice how your body feels. Wonderful. So that is the Swimming Dragon. If you'd like to experience this in a full Qigong routine, go to yochi.com. There's lots of different flows there, and I use the Swimming Dragon all the time. So check it out. And if you haven't subscribed to the Yochi YouTube channel, I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day.